Hey guys, local digger in Northern Ontario, look at the ruts, look at the trail we're standing in the middle of. The entrance to the trail is about ooh, one minute back that way. And then if you turn around you'll see there's a trail, well almost a trail, it's pretty grown over, huh? And we're going to work our way up this trail with Kevin the Vulture and uh, uh, find our way to a homestead he knows exists up here. So I haven't been here, but he has, and he says he's dug everything, but I got my detector with me. So we'll I see where this trail goes, if you just give us a couple minutes to walk up. See, I got my detector today. Yeah. Oh, okay. Big cellar hole here, too, with the logs. Look at the corner of these logs right here. The cornerstones, the last, last cornerstone of this cellar hole. Hey, you can actually get down in this that This is one. the other corner. We were just standing in front of it. We could see the big pit going down there in the wall. Oh, there's a good wall over there we can see. Oh, yeah. That would be the far wall again. This, what's this, 20 by 25? Yeah. Watch out, those logs are pretty weak. There's the other wall, eh? Cool, and still in town. So this is definitely an old homestead, huh? Yes, it is. The way the boys would have lived back in the day, way up in the middle of nowhere. And you gotta wonder how did they how did they exist up here? But they cut the trees, they built the house. Look at the size of this log. The square timbers here, man. You see these three here? This one might even be more than one foot because it's deteriorated, right? Old square nails. I think this is the old barn over here. You can still see there's probably six feet left of the wall. Take a swing over here. Oh, there's some crazy digger over there. Oh, there's some old wagon rims there. Some kind of little outbuilding attached to the side of the barn. I don't know if we can make that out. But here's one barn wall. Go see what Loco's up to. Look at well, it's taking up my whole camera lens. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, those the are dovetail the work. Left. Beautiful dovetail example of how they interlocked them, and now they're collapsing. It's rolling over like that. Look at that. Here's the remnants of another old foundation. You can just see the last logs lying on the ground here, and there's the rock that they built it on the building. And you can, it's hard to tell, but there's actually a foundation right here. We'll go around the other side and see. Side that foundation now, you could barely make it out. Here's some artifacts from previous expeditions. An old shovel. Old chunks of steel, hmm. no plow tooth. There's another basement pit right here.
doesn't look like much. There's where the entrance was. Yeah. And you come around back this way. What do you think, the cold cellar? Looks about the size of the cold cellar again. Yeah, or the ice house. The ice house, yeah. That's what I meant to say, I'm sorry. But it certainly looks like that size of that one at that other place we were. And was it Indian Hill? Yep. Back here on site, the old homestead and local diggers out there in the uh, field doing a bit of detecting. I spotted the old uh, garbage dump here. It's not much of a dump, just a few artifacts lying around. Uh, a piece of their wood stove, the old cans, a piece of old glass. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little bit sun cast purple. There's something rather right here. here. Another piece of junk or something. Here's some other some type of barbed wire. It's got wire on both sides and a piece of metal in between. There's what's left of their I guess hearth off their wood stove. That's another piece off the wood stove, and that's about it. We're just digging around, flipping some rocks in the old dump here. I showed you a minute ago some of the trash we found, and uh, I just flipped it over and found this bottle here. Nice old cork top bottle. It says, uh, uh, nerve, nerve line. Nerve line. Prepared by the Catarozone. Catar Rizzoni, Catar Rizzoni Company, Kingston, Ontario. Nerve line prepared by Catar Rizzoni Company, Kingston, Ontario. Cork top bottle, isn't that the coolest thing? Look at that. I'll add that to the collection of medicine bottles. You can see that it's nice and thick on the bottom. It's a real oldie. Cool, let's get looking for more. Hey guys, look what that is. That's that beautiful Cata uh, Razzoni Brothers Nerve Line medicine bottle. And that's it. That's all we're taking home. In fact, we found a few bullets, a couple nails, and some other little metal artifacts, but that would definitely be the find of the day. Look at that baby. Isn't that beautiful? And the cameraman found that <laughs> while we were going through the rocks. Isn't that something? Not That's amazing. Not these rocks. The other rock pile where he showed you the hole and all the other artifacts. But there you go. One cork top bottle. They were up to something way back in the day here. Bye for now. We're going to head out this trail. Back to the car. Yeah, I know you can't tell, but believe me, there's a cut trail through here. We'll make it. Bye for now. Looking right at me. She's so quiet. Just looking at me through those trees. Not even the trees, it's just a little bush. There she goes. big white tail. Okay, bye for now.